I request you to please join us on the screen. Thank you, Ma'am Bhavya, uh, to introduce me. Uh, I am uh, very much happy that uh, I am not given uh, such uh, uh, of detail, given my details of like paper and uh, research area, but uh, I don't know how you, uh, how you are, people are able to uh, find it. I think I have uh, updated all my uh, research area and about my paper in my Google Scholar and also in Scopus profile. And already you have summarized all the thing. In the last, I will uh, introduce in detail myself. But uh, as time has started, so I want to uh, present uh, for my today's session. Uh, I will uh, uh, discuss you, or I will you uh, present you uh, my topic. Uh, about the applications of nanofluids, uh, especially in the field of solar energy applications, and also I also discuss on the some other topics also, and for ferrofluid also. So, sorry, sir. I, I, I apologize. Apologize. Mm -hmm. Bully. What happened? My voice is audible or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Ha, ji. So what for what you apologize means I don't catch you. Okay. My screen is visible or to or not if to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So first, uh, just a brief introduction that what is we have to understand that what is nanofluids. Okay, what is nanofluids? Or uh, frequently we used uh, this word nanofluids, nanotechnology. Often, uh, this nod is they you anywhere uh, listen uh, used to listen this. So, what is nanofluid? Nanotechnology means uh, what is this? So nanofluids is means like uh, application of nanoparticles application of nanoparticles in the uh, nanofluids and nanotechnology is somewhat is uh, uh, materials related to but i today i will discuss about the nanofluids that what is nanofluids nanofluids nanofluid is collides huh. it's a uh, addition of base fluids plus nanomaterials means Nanoplates contains having one base fluids plus some nanomaterials. Okay, so nanomaterials could be anything like nanopartic nanoparticles, nanofibers, nanotubes. Nanotubes, nano wires, nano rods, nano sheets or droplets. These particles generally stable metal or metal oxide could be following. Means uh, the base fluid, the base fluid it had base fluids plus nanoparticles. So nanoparticles could be uh, uh, could be anything, could be anything. But uh, we can categorize the nanoparticles mainly into uh, metallic or non-metallic. Okay. So I will explain that what what are the base fluids uh, we we select oftenly for the nanofluids or what are the nanoparticle uh, nanomaterials we uh, select for the uh, making of nanofluids. Okay, so nanomaterials are example of aluminium oxide, ZrO2, silicon oxide. Okay, Fe3O4, copper. Iron oxide, this is called iron oxide, copper, 
एल्यूमिनियम कार्बन डायमंड पॉलीमर फ्लूरेन टेफलॉन इट्स वे दीस आर दी मींस आई हैव टेकन द हेल्प ऑफ मींस टेकन ऑफ हेल्प ऑफ पब्लिश्ड लिटरेचर एंड सब बुक्स सो फ्रॉम ऑल द डाटा आई हैव सेलेक्टेड फ्रॉम माय मींस फ्रॉम माय रिसर्च सम इन्वेस्टिगेशन थ्रू द बुक्स एंड रिसर्च पेपर्स ओके सो दीस आर दी एग्जाम नैनो मटेरियल्स एग्जाम्पल मीन्स दीस आर दी नैनो मटेरियल्स which are used for the making of nano fluids uh, excuse me sir uh, okay. huh. excuse me sir ha uh, madam boliye uh, uh, can you please uh, uh, start the slide show it is not visible clearly slide show visible to screen to share maine kiya na ma'am yes sir screen visible hai but uh, slide show open nahi hai na so sir clear nahi dikh raha hai फुल स्क्रीन में नहीं है सर ओ वो ऐसा हां अभी नो इट इज क्लियर सर इट इज नो इट इज क्लियर ओके ओ सो दीस आर द एग्जांपल ऑफ नैनो मटेरियल्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड विद मिक्सिंग विद द बेस फ्लूइड्स ओके दैट सस्पेंडेड नैनो पार्टिकल्स what suspended nano particles that example i have told previously this these are alum, from aluminum oxide to polymer teflon so these are blended in very small small what we can say what very small uh, that we can say that these these are the 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 okay so you can assume that how is small it is that suspended nano particles in various base fluids can alter the fluid flow and heat transfer characteristics of the base fluid this suspension of nano sized particle in the base fluids are called nano fluids mean suspension what here is uh, want to say that if you uh, a typical example if you can if you mix anything uh, Uh, in the water so starkly it not uh, mix with water so if you blend or if you go uh, uh, do means uh, uh, doing small uh, things that it can merge so what uh, later in, in my slide i explain to you how it is uh, make the nano particles or nano fluids nano fluids are suspension of nano particle in the base fluids so base fluids uh, what we select is typically water and other example are also for base fluids the term nano particles comes from the latin prefix nano it is prefix is used to denote 10 to the power minus 9 part of unit okay so 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 recent development of nano technology brings out a new heat transfer coolant called nano fluids these fluids exhibit larger thermal properties than conventional coolant the much larger relative surface area of nano particles compared to those of conventional particles not only significantly improve heat transfer capabilities but also increase the sta stability of the suspension okay so in base fluid we mixed up the nano uh, nano particles or nano materials so what it is happened that is some basic properties like thermoconductivity viscosity etc will increase or some what change okay so in previous slide i have told that what are the example of nano materials now you can see what are the example uh, what are the fluids which are used commonly for the making as base fluids so common base fluids are water ethylene glycol and heat transfer oil okay an important role in many industry industrial processes such as power generation heating or cooling processes chemical processes and micro electronics so up to my this slide you are able to understand that nano fluid is uh, 
mixture of base fluids plus nano materials or nano particles so this is the example of uh, base fluids and the previously said i have uh, told the example of nano materials which uh, either any of the combination uh, can be used according to our need or uh, what and what and what system we will apply this okay however these fluids have relatively low thermal conductivity and thus cannot reach high heat exchange rate in thermal engineering device a way to overcome this barrier ultra using ultra fine solid particles suspended what i am saying that ultra fine solid particles we have to convert the nano uh, this that materials into ultra fine solid particles suspended into base fluids to improve its thermal conductivity and other properties is this already i have tell you that the size of nano part, uh, particles could be from 1 to 100 nanometer okay into the base fluid concept of nano fluid that conventional heat transfer fluid what is conventional heat transfer fluid like water like uh, oil or like like ethyl glycol or previously said that have uh, poor thermal conductivity okay conventional heat transfer fluid have inherently poor thermal conductivity as compared to solid conventional fluid that contain mm or micro mm size particle do not work with the emerging mature technologies because they can clog the tiny channel of this device what this lines want to say if you what why we convert that uh, nano materials into ultra thin uh, particles because if size is bigger then it can uh, in, in it uh, if size is bigger that that it can what clog means I, i hope you understand the meaning of clog that it clog or jam the channels into which device is used that's why that's why we converted that into very uh, small size in nano size okay these are the some example uh, this uh, uh, for uh, for uh, means a little idea that how it is look like uh, this these are the real pic uh, real picture uh, from the uh, uh, nano nano fluids okay uh, somewhat it look like uh the scientist uh, choi 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 first to who used in 1995 who so you can see that this uh, area of uh, research this area nano fluids nano particles nano technology is not uh, uh, much older as compared to other uh, research areas that it is only first uh, uh nano fluid uh, is uh, introduced by the uh, the researchers or in which investigators choice in 1995 okay so okay so it's uh, it's a uh, means a modern area of research so uh, lot of researches are carry are carried out into the in this area so nano fluids compared to suspension with particles to of mini meter or micrometer size so better stability rheological properties and considerably higher th thermal conductivity if you if you uh, uh, if you the uh, uh, already studied the subject of fm fluid mechanics or fluid mechanics so rheological you can uh, understand the properties about the fluids the properties about the fluids or studies about the fluids and its properties its details is uh, is called the rheological area so so rheological is about uh, studies or research relate, related to the uh, fluids okay so this word is rheological properties okay okay nanotechnology is some uh, nanotechnology is the studies and application of process at a nano level this is standard one nine meter at the nano level the properties of the fluids completely change okay what what it is the uh, means the highlighted one of the highlighted points 
that uh, at the nano level nano level i have already told 10 to the power 9 meter the properties of the fluid at the nano level the properties of the fluid completely change okay somewhat it is somewhat some metal or some things is bigger its property is different but if we convert into the nano nanometer that its property its behavior is change as previous when it is big okay so this is the means uh, very uh, this is the highlighted point at the nano level the properties of the fluids completely change and some of the properties are even enhanced so properties are enhanced so that's why uh, we convert them into one of the more reason is we convert into nano to significantly large level thus the nano technology can be applied to the fluids and its flow and some new technologies can be developed oh uh, this already i have uh, told that uh, what are the uh, uh, materials used for the uh, making nano fluids uh, these are this is just classification oxide ceramics is aluminum oxide cuo metal carbides nitrides it's aluminum nitride silicon nitride metals can be used aluminum copper non metals can be used for making uh, uh, nano fluids graphite carbon nanotubes layered aluminum aluminum alo2 o3 cu plus c base fluids i have already explained to you water it is water the common base fluid is water then ethylene or triethylene glycols and other coolants oil lubricants bio fluids polymer solution so these are the overviews that what are the uh, nano particles used and what are the base fluids can be used these are selected according to the device into which we will apply or according to our needs then uh, the next question should be arise or come to your minds that how how uh, uh, it is prepared or where we can got the nano fluids or nano uh, nano materials so it is uh, it is a uh, the Uh, making in the it is uh, made in the library so there are the methods preparation methods for the making of uh, uh, nano fluids the first one is there are three methods uh, one two step method single step method or another one is i will explain i will uh, ex show you in next slide then two step method is what in two step method method two step method is the most widely used method for preparing nano fluids nano particles nano fiber nano tubes or other nano materials used in this method are firstly produced as dry powders by chemical or physical methods then the nano sized powder will be dispersed into the liquid i think if uh, i is uh, i have already uh, uh, you are you able understand that what is dispersed this word is uh, frequently used uh, dispersed into the fluid in the second processing step with help of intensive magnetic force agitation ultrasonic agitation higher shear mixing homogenizing and ball milling two step method is most economic method to produce nano fluids in large scale because nano powder synthesis techniques have already been scaled up to industrial production level due to high surface area and surface activity nano particles have the tendency to aggregate yeah, this is the drawing that this is this is nano uh, nano particles and liquid is adding then somewhat it is 
process okay the second method is single step method to reduce agglomeration of nanoparticles they develop a one step physical vapor condensation method to prepare copper oblique ethylene glycol nanofluids the one step process consists of simultaneously making and dispersing the particle in the fluids in this method the process of drawing storage transportation and dispersion of nanoparticles are avoided so agglomeration of nanoparticle is minimized and the stability of fluid is increased okay leave it these are just uh, uh, just uh, means uh, you for just uh, uh, little uh, knowledge about that there is are the methods we are the, there are the methods for the making of nano fluids okay there is there is one step method two step method okay so these are the disadvantages of one step method that what is that the most important one is that the residual reactants are left in the nano fluid due to incomplete chest okay leave it structure structure of nano fluids okay uh, for the nano fluids or nano particles obviously it is such a it is such, such a small that it cannot uh, be seen from normal uh, eyes so okay we have uh, we have to see these uh, special uh, equipments are needed okay somewhat it is uh, in the level of micro level it is seen like okay uh, this is figure for uh, zinc oxide in water that produce with two step method okay so uh, these are the views okay these are the views of copper nanoparticles in ethylene glycol produced with one step method so okay uh, for to to capture this image or to see this uh, we need uh, special equipments that is special magnifier okay uh, it is not possible to see with uh, normal uh, view na so just for uh, just for the idea uh, i am uh, i have put it this uh, into the slide so after that uh, if you the process all process the nano material suspension in the base fluid so what happened that overall properties or the following properties are improved what properties that convective heat transfer coefficient thermal diffusivity diffusivity viscosity thermal conductivity okay so these are the properties get enhanced thermal conductivity viscosity thermal diffusivity and convective heat transfer coefficient by the adding of that nano particles or nano materials some theories uh, are used uh, related to uh, that nano fluids that brownian motion okay uh, if uh, i think uh, you hear about that that uh, somewhat like uh, related to fluid mechanics laminar or turbulent or somewhat so somewhat in nano nano fluids is there is a brownian motion interfacial layer volume fraction of uh, particles okay so what is brownian motion that you can see uh, these are the example uh, that in the fluids in a fluids that small uh, particles of nano materials or metals are they are floating they are uh, uh, they are got floating and they are moving here means uh, in the fluids so somewhat this motions are studied which is called uh, this are called brownian motion okay this effect is additive to the thermal conductivity of a 
static dilute suspension that is k effective is equal to is it k static plus k brownian okay since the speed of thermal wave propagation is much faster than the particle brownian motion the static part cannot be neglected that it has been found that brownian motion of nano particles at the molecular and nano scale level is a key mechanism governing the thermal behavior of nano particle fluid suspension so brownian motion is what it is associated with the what are the properties which is thermal conductivity okay the enhancement in the effective thermal conductivity of nano fluid is due to mainly the localized convective caused by this brownian movement of nano particles what is brownian movement that suspended particles small nano material particles which are we are added uh, in the nano in the base fluid they are moving just uh, like floating so study or is that about that motion is like is uh, denoted as named as the brownian motion okay i think i am able to make you understand okay it is postulated that the enhanced thermal conductivity of conductivity of nano fluids when compared to conventional prediction is mainly due to this brownian motion which is which produce micro mixing then again is the second uh, theory is interfacial layer what is interfacial layer that nano particles just in, uh, just uh, outside of the nano particles there some layer small layer is got uh, formed or attached which is called interfacial layer okay the, this figure is symmetric cross section of nano particle structure consisting of nano particles bulk liquid and nano layer that is forming okay there you can see in the image that that is nano particles and outside is that fluid particle is just stick okay so these are the figures interfacial layer fluid medium and particles so they, these are the another theories which uh, uh, one is what is brownian layer interfacial second one is interfacial layer and uh, these are the theories about the this layer to describe the layer okay although liquid molecules close to a solid surface are known to form layered structure okay that what it is why it is formed that i am already told that base fluid is in it is in liquid form a material is it is solid form so we uh, mix both due to this this form so these are the theory some in words i have uh, described is although liquid molecules close to a solid surface are known to form layer structure little is known about the connection between this nano layer and the thermal properties of solid liquid suspension it is assumed that the solid liquid nano layer acts as a thermal bridge between this nano layer dekhi this nano layer act as thermal bridge between a solid nano particles and bulk liquids and so is key to enhance thermal conductivity conductivity sorry thermal conductivity from this thermally bridging nano layer idea a structural model of nano fluids that consists of solid was suggested nano particles bulk liquids and solid like nano layers conventional picture of solid liquid suspension do not have okay leave this what is next is volume fraction highly conductive nano particles of very low volume fraction disturbed in quiescent liquid called nano fluids may measured measurably increase the effective thermal conductivity of of the suspension when compared to pure li liquid you can see that by this uh, figure that by percentage of volume fraction it is increases in in the x axis okay and according to the thermal conductivity ratio is also increased to so volume these are the effects of volume fraction 
uh, already told characters characterization of nano fluids till now i have what i uh, to uh, explain that uh, what is nano fluids about its units okay about the example of nano materials about the example of base fluids about the theories that uh, three theories okay brownian motion one is uh, and uh, interfacial and volume fraction and about the uh, preparation method now i move to characterization of nano fluids okay nano fluids are characterized by the following techniques scanning electron microscopy sen okay the figure previously the uh, I, i have told that uh, it cannot be seen by normal way so we need some equipments okay so that these are the example of some that equipment that microscopy okay scanning electron microscopy okay that uh, thermal electron microscopy xrd ftir dls tga and zeta potential analysis these are the means some examples of tools equipments and test by the with the help of them with the help of them they take uh, to tell about the uh, that particular uh, 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 properties about and figures and uh, means micro level picture with help of this we can take okay they are these are the some analysis dls analysis it uh, what it tells estimate the average dispersed size of the nano particles dg analysis it uh, about the study of influence of heating and melting of the thermal stability of nano particles zeta potential value is related to the stability of nano particles dispersion in base fluid these are the means uh, these are the uh, by with uh, somewhat like uh, that uh, tell about the details of the uh that nano fluids and it's uh, uh, like uh, we have to picture or uh, for the papers or for the research these are very necessary we we have we need to this all the all the things okay properties of nano fluids uh by adding of nano materials uh, we obtain the nano in the base fluid we obtain the nano fluids and uh, nano fluids have enhanced th the following properties as compared to base fluids which is thermal conductivity viscosity convective heat transfer density specific heat these are the some uh, uh, i have already uh, i am just uh, put it here five but although all others are properties which having the which nano particles has okay that thermal conductivity of thermal conductivity of thermal conductivity of uh, nano fluid depends upon the many parameter that base fluids volume fraction particle size shape shape of the that uh, particle temperature surface charge ph value brownian motion of the nano particles effect of clustering nano layer dispersion techniques the fluid that have been traditionally used for heat transfer application have a rather low thermal conductivity oh the increase okay the, i have already told that uh, by adding nano materials that thermal conductivity increase this increase in thermal conductivity is predicted to be because of the following reasons these are you can see that uh, this uh, enhance as as compared to uh, temperature that enhancement in the thermal conductivity so the various researches uh, 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 yeah or literature or research paper i have already published uh, somewhat uh, uh, if you anyone want to uh, want to do research that what are the uh, effect of like uh, aluminum 
aluminium adding of aluminium in nano flu in uh, base root what and what are the effects of like zinc and they compare for the both okay so these are this also a, like a research and this what some work a researcher already published their paper and more investigation also carried out somewhat like these are the uh, some overview okay overview that thermal conductivity of uh, you can uh, for, for the uh, idea and for the that material the copper have that like thermal conductivity obviously you know, you know the unit what per meter kelvin okay so this are the table having the particular metals and its thermal conductivity are presented here viscosity viscosity is defined as measure of tendency of a liquid to resist to flow uh, also viscosity jo, the parameter are affected by the this these are uh, means nano fluid viscosity affected by the following property that base fluid properties particle volume fraction particle size particle shape temperature ph value okay uh viscosity decrease with with uh, with uh, when we increase the temperature the viscosity decrease i think uh, we know all know this okay with uh, with increase of temperature the viscosity decrease okay then again it convective heat transfer coefficient h okay density specific heat specific heat is uh, like uh, increasing with uh, with uh, 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 when we increase the Reynolds number, okay, or we increase the temperature, okay. Applications. Uh, we have wide areas, okay. Wide. I have listed some selected. The application areas or applications of the this menu fluids. In automobile, in automobile is uh, as a use as coolant in automobile radiator. Several research paper have already published, and several researchers also carry uh, going. Okay, solar energy applications. Okay, mechanical applications. Heat exchanger in reactor. Reactor means either here is uh, means uh, nuclear reactor or some. Reactor using power plant also in heat exchangers also nano fluids are used optical applications biomedical biomedical and medical applications electron electronic cooling in chip cooling it is used nuclear system cooling so these are the some selected example okay and it is increasing as more researches have been carried out uh, for the nano fluids it's uh, taking entry in the every uh, fields that nano fluids application of nano fluids okay so my uh, just uh, for a uh, little uh, so in previous slide i have told you that the application of nano fluids uh, are not limited it is it's it's a uh, very big area it's, and so it cannot be uh, to focus uh, it cannot be tell in just short time to all all the things but uh, you can uh, you can uh, just uh, in google scholar find the papers or book in your library for specific so i am here just to, to tell about the uh, i want to uh, share with you the applications of nano application of nano fluids that in the field of solar solar energy okay so solar energy means what in the like solar collector okay uh, 
the solar energy uh, uh, you can see that uh, solar energy one one of the example of uh, you i think you if in, in student any students are there that we can uh, classify the uh, the energy into conventional and non conventional so non conventional solar energy comes uh, under the non conventional okay why 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 it is because it is available free available source of energy and it is have a variety of uh, advantages okay and disadvantages also but we have to focus the uh, advantages that it is non polluting it is available is availability is free these are the main example and what are the dis uh, disadvantages that uh, availability of solar or sun days throughout the year or throughout the months these are the sun A drawback of solar energy. Storage is very uh, uh, problematic. How we can store the solar uh, by converting the energy? Uh, so for this we need battery or so some uh, storage material. Okay. So uh, here I am uh, present you the application of nano fluids. Application of nano fluids in solar collector or solar energy. Okay. So solar energy is what. uh solar energy is the most copious of all energy forms oh okay non conventional into among the all uh, non conventional solar energy is uh, the area into which uh, highest uh, research are and researches and developments are carried out okay renewable source of energy from sun are fairly non polluting and considered as clean solar energy as a green and environmental friendly energy has produced energy for billions of years solar energy that reaches the earth is around 4 into 10. it is 10 to the power minus 15 uh, sorry 4 into 10 to the power 15 okay it is a type typing mistake 4 into 10 to the power 15 it is 10 to the power okay megawatt and it is 200 times as large as the global utilization solar power generation grew even more rapidly 86.3% but form a smaller base renewable forms of energy accounted for 2.1% of global energy consumption up from 0.7% in 2008 yet these are the some uh, data i have uh, taken from there that uh, still what in short you what uh, it is want to say this line that uh, we have to that we have we solar energy have now that huge amount that you can see 4 into 10 to the power 15 megawatt it is 200 times uh, as we all over the world we needed but we are unable to convert this and this much energy into like very small percentage like 2 to 3 or 4 5 percentage what this line want to say that we we have to use or we have to convert this energy more and more by the use of different devices for the mankind or we are for the mankind and various applications oh. so come to the solar collectors solar collectors uh, Uh, we can classify the solar collector in the by various ways like uh, uh, focusing or not focusing okay and flat plate or non flat plate okay that again solar air heater solar water heater some uh, in and ug students used to uh, in, in subject uh, basic subject they used to uh, study that okay solar radiation is what hot solar collector what is solar collector that solar energy what is solar energy solar energy just to use is incoming solar rays to convert into the useful thermal energy okay that's that what is that solar radiation is uh, conversion of this energy solar radiation into the useful thermal energy okay so so that these are the example of focusing type okay. in the focus of solar thermal concentration system this system are classified by these are the, all the example of focusing type non focusing up i think you have already studied about the flat plate collector solar water heater or somewhat uh, this uh, you 
you you people see that okay so these are the example of focusing type okay these system are classified focus geometry as either point focus concentration sorry concentrators or line focus concentrators and linear sensor most popular solar collectors these are this is parabolic disk collectors this is parabolic through and this is power system okay that solar collector particular kind of is exchange that transfer solar radiation energy into the uh, internal energy of transport medium this device absorb what device means solar collectors absorb the incoming solar radiation and convert them into the heat okay useful heat and transfer that heat to the fluids okay in a, a collector solar air collector what we what we used to do that we uh used to heat the air simple okay and water heater we used to heat the water with help of that incoming solar radiation or by the use of solar water heater okay so then solar air heater for the heating of air and solar water is for the heating of water or oil for oil that uh, in place of water you can use oil or water where the mid, uh, whatever uh, the object we want to use okay the energy collected is carried from the working fluids either directly to the hot water or space conditioning equipment or a thermal in store energy storage tank from which it is can be drawn for use with night or on cloudy days okay uh, the convert energy or uh, 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 previously told that we need to store that energy so for that energy storage tank and batteries are used so we can use further when we need that solar water i have already told that used to heat the water okay these are the simple formula of the solar collector efficiency efficiency is equal to useful heat gain is equal to available energy useful heat we can simply calculated mcpt fo minus t fi upon aic m is mass flow rate cp specific heat t out is equal to temperature of outlet air in case of solar water air heater and uh, solar water heater it is outlet temperature of water t in is inlet temperature a is area and gt is in uh insulation ya yeah, solar flux incident uh on the solar collector okay so these are the simple way uh, formula we can uh, simple this is the simplest uh, equation by the with, a, with the use of we can uh, calculate the efficiency of solar collector and solar water heater this is the uh figure of direct absorption now i am uh, moving to uh, the nano fluids nano fluids application okay so nano fluids i am already told it is in the form of liquid so it cannot be used in the air okay obviously because it is fluid so in the fluids uh what this is the example of that is direct absorption solar collector we have that one is uh, top gloss cover and a transparent surface by the these are the duct depth these are the length okay uh these are the, uh, the this one uh, tyagi at all oh, i am in 2000 i think it is uh, that he is uh, uh, investigated the effect of nanoparticle size on the uh, collector efficiency okay that collector means solar water here because i have already told that it is cannot uh, uh, it is used in the where in liquid we have to increase the efficiency of liquid okay we cannot use it into air so this is some graph i have taken this uh, from tyagi at l literature that what he investigated that particle size as we uh, increases the particle size that collector efficiency is also increased okay 
that effect on non particle size volume fraction is equal to 0.8 and result is that we we can see that collector efficiency is increased with the particle size unit is okay as the number of nano particles increase or the volume fraction of of particles increase as the percentage of total working flow volume conductive nature and thereby heat transfer capacity should be increased this are the paper all uh, this are the graph you can see that volume fraction it is percentage then below 1% is it is from below 1% it is increased uh, gradually and after you can see that after the 1% it is uh, increasingly rapidly okay so we can see that collector efficiency goes up to the 80% we can see that uh, effect of different materials or nanoparticles these are the if defect uh, different uh, uh, obviously different materials have different th thermal conductivity so overall its impact on the collector efficiency is also different so these are the uh, means uh, uh, one graph that different uh, nanoparticles effect of volume with respect to volume fraction and collector efficiency that in a study variation variation of efficiency is in different types of nanoparticles okay what are with reflective coating cnt what is what is carbon nanotube water with reflective coating on black side of the collector water with black painted back on the side we can see that uh, i think it is not clear or clear that uh, effect of different uh, that uh, you can see that silver uh, that material silver with 40 nanometer cnt graphite so uh, it is a uh, uh, researcher that uh, also compared the effect of different materials with in the collector efficiency so we can see that graphite have uh, higher as compared to silver cnt and this okay so this type effect uh, of percentage weight ratio of nanoparticles in base fluid so this uh, we can see some of work focused on the effect of weight ratio of nanoparticles in base fluids in the flat plate solar collector with two weight fraction 0.2 and 0.4 and nanoparticle diameter of 15 nanometer these are the key points the efficiency of solar collector with 0.2% weight fraction is 28.3% okay so it what is it is you can see that water have the lowest efficiency after that aluminum oxide with 0.2% weight okay to having uh, higher as compared to 0.4 so these are the uh, effect okay the different uh, i have already uh, in previous slide showed that there are different uh, uh, factor that affects the uh, properties all properties where the thermal conductivity heat transfer coefficient okay and viscosity so researches are carried out or graphs are plotted are somewhat uh, like this okay this is nano fluid application in concentrated solar collector so Yeah, we can see that concentrating collectors, uh, the thermal, uh, the here we can see the thermal efficiency. Average fluid temperature about ambient, the uh, increase of ambient temperature, the thermal efficiency is decrease. So uh, there are various slides. I think. Uh, in the application of uh, this uh, nano fluid is solar pond application of nano fluid in solar steel oh, i think you have studied what is solar steel solar steel is used to uh, uh, get the uh, pure water from the like uh, sea water or from the uh, the water uh, which is not used to so these are the application on, uh, it's uh, also used in the uh, means uh, Uh, in solar steel application of nano fluids uh, output or what from the output we can solar steel what we obtain the 
purifier water okay so these are the example of application of nano fluid in solar steel okay solar steel are very useful in desalination and water purification this system consists of container with sea water or waste water collected top of the container is covered with glass cover extract okay so here is the saline water or uh, mean waste water and uh, when incoming uh, solar radiation comes from the that top gloss it is which is transparent then it is got heat in that it is vaporized and from this we can see the pure water or distilled water we can obtain so what in these saline water we added the nano fluids so it's uh, it's a condensation rate or vaporization rate has increased so some uh, time is uh, limited so i am just briefing solar pond i think you have studied uh, what is solar pond uh solar pond uh, okay solar pond is just uh, what is uh, so uh, uh, we adding the like like uh, salt saltinity gradient solar ponds are great bodies of water between 2 to 5 meter deep which could collect solar radiation and store in the form of heat structure of solar so pond is below that what is it that hot water on this uh, surface zone these are the means uh, like layer of uh, according to the saltinity and uh, into this also we can use the nano fluids okay so there are various uh, application in uh, various uh, application of uh, 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 nano fluids in solar area also i am just giving the just one slide to all of them in solar plant okay in solar steel okay this is i have told that how application of uh, nano fluid in solar steel we you can see that nano fluid is got mixed into the that uh, uh, sea water or unused uh, waste water future work and other possibility both technical and economical advancement in nano fluid is still going on and this trend has a strong potential in facilitating greater develop uh, deployment of nano fluid area of improvement re ek minute ek minute parabolic through system as mentioned only theoretical work has been done okay most of the means what uh, if anyone want to do uh, means research or want to uh, interested in this year that what Yeah, as you will know that uh, research is carried out by mainly that like in analytical in theoretical in simulation based okay and an experimental based so not it is not uh, up to this my present uh, uh, presentation that you uh, you could be find that uh, for the nano for the making of nano fluids we need uh, we need uh, like equipments like uh, base fluids are uh, like some different uh, layer okay so it is not easy so that's why most of the researches i have published i have gone through that they are mostly on the based of analytical based analytical based means simply uh, on the basic equation and performance analysis equation we can uh, write codes or develop codes in matlab or a software like in matlab and python Uh, and and uh, for the simulation we need uh, software like ansys like simulation software ansys okay and uh, for the experimental work we have to develop the all the setups we need so it is also uh, cost taking it is cost and time taking and the facility we need like space or labs all, all the things equipments for the uh, for the capturing the image in uh, nano particle size that i have uh, shown the picture that uh, uh, that microscopic level okay and the test we need to carry so most of the paper as uh, published i have uh, gone through that based on the theoretical or analytical based these are the slides these are the advantages limitations challenges challenges are conclusion then after i will conclude my session 
challenges of nano fluid the main issues as challenges for nano fluid are this that is agreement between most of the experiment data with the theoretical model predictions the poor characterization of nano suspension the lack of understanding of the complex physical phenomena responsible for the anomalous behavior of nano fluids conclusion the thermal conductivity viscosity and viscosity heat mod specific heat models of nano fluids are many in the literature the requirement to improve the efficiency of the thermal system relies highly on the knowledge of the thermal conductivity of the space fluid the experiment work on viscosity specific heat and pressure drop nano fluids and their dependence on the temperature are limited stability of nano fluid is one of the key challenges hindering the wide spread part practical application of nano fluid studied so the stability depend on ph different types of shape and size of nano particles with different base fluid nano fluid preparation method volume fraction okay this much is sufficient for this uh, Uh, this is uh, this is my brave, uh, brief. Uh, I have published uh, up to uh, uh, 10 uh, SCI or Scopus or Scopus uh, SCI index paper, uh, and I have not included uh, into uh, the non-indexing paper. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. That was really an informative session. It's time for the Q&A round. If anyone wants to ask any question, they can. You can also write your question in the chat box. It's open for all of you. I think uh, up to now, uh, if uh, someone is new in this area or if students are listening to me say, at least uh, I think I'm able to uh, deliver some five, up to four to five or 10% uh, knowledge to you. What is so in the BTEC level? Uh, if I think uh, uh, you need question, what is uh, how I how can I prepare a nano fluid by taking heat transfer by taking heat transfer as base fluid? It is possible. I do didn't get you. What you want to ask by taking heat transfer? Matlab, how we can take heat transfer as base fluid? Is possible? I am not able to. अगर आप मैं कुछ English Hindi का mix करके भी पूछ सकते हैं तो मैं बता सकता हूँ क्या बोलना चाह रहे हैं आप? फिर what are the sources of nano particles? They are always artificially manufactured or they always we have to prepare this. Okay, nano particles with help of machines and equipment. Okay, blend blending. I think you understand what is blending. Okay. So we need to equip, uh, need to equipment for to uh, to convert uh, the bigger material into nano size. Okay, and for the mixing, it is not just uh, mixing just like you have water and you have nano particles and just mix them and just shake them. Okay, that's why it is very difficult. Okay, that's why most of the researches and carried out in the uh, by the writing codings. And by with help of software like ANSYS or somewhat Unigraphics, Creo, this type of software analysis, I think uh, you are technical people, you know that. Or any question? Anyone, any type of question related to this can ask me. I don't think anyone has any questions. On behalf of my entire team, extend a really hearty vote of thanks to Dr. Mukesh sir, who spared his who spared his time from his busy schedule to grace the occasion. Today we had an opportunity to hear from you, and this will surely going to encourage us in future events. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, students. Thank you, teachers.